<laughs> hey guys, welcome. It's Biff, and you're on a Fearless Mods road trip. We've got about 360 miles to go. It says we'll get there at 2.30 with the time change. I need to be there for a four o'clock event. Foggy morning, so it might slow us down a little bit. We should be good to go. Welcome to Fearless Mods. Let's go. When we get there, we've got some new tires in store for us tomorrow, and that's gonna be nice at least for the fronts the larger rears weren't in stock we will go in eco mode and see how fuel efficient this baby is over the course of a uh, five five and a half hour drive to our destination gas is like 354 in my part of illinois I filled it up last night while we were in St. Louis. It's cheaper on the Missouri side. I filled it up for $2.99. Of course, those are prices for regular. I think I was more like $3.60 for premium, but I base everything off of the regular prices. So, saved about 55 cents a gallon filling it up in Missouri, and that'll get me out of Illinois over to next fill up in Indiana. Okay, so we are about an hour and a half into this trip and the car is running fantastically. Um, figured I'd take this opportunity to go over a few things with the car so far. Um, love the car. It's driving great. Drives straight as an arrow. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, definitely looking forward to getting the new tires on the front and getting everything balanced all the way around get rid of any of this little wheel hop we have that front right tire is very chewed up um, and definitely giving us some some uh, shake in the steering wheel other than that the thing is driving like a dream there are a few things about this car that just kind of surprised me based on the level of technology that's in it uh, one of them is the fact that I have this huge contraption behind the mirror I don't have automatic dimming bright lights um, not really sure what's up with that and it also doesn't have advanced cruise, which would be up in the front bumper on these anyways. So I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is. But one of the most amazing things that just boggles my mind uh, is that nowhere in this high-tech mirror or anywhere in this console are there any home link buttons for the garage doors. This is my first go at Apple CarPlay. I do like being able to put things up here I've uh, been listening to an audio book, and of course I got Waze up here. The other thing that I've been looking for on this, and I thought I saw it in some forums, but have not yet been able to find it, is a boost gauge. The STI has a boost gauge that you can select, and that's fantastic. You got a, a performance car that is turbo, you definitely want to be able to see what the boost is. Here we have a performance car with twin turbos, and I have yet to be able to find anywhere on here what my boost is. This particular model is the GTS, as you know. So of course, it does come with heated seats, but they did leave out the cooled seats option. Not a problem on a day like today, but there are many times in the hot weather that it would be obviously desirable to have. And that's just something that you do without on a, on, on a performance sports car, I guess. Um, and that's not atypical. One thing that is very peculiar on this is, and I'm constantly guessing on, is the indicator lights. For example, the start stop off, it I think is intuitive. So if I push the start stop button, the light illuminates and now that mode is inactivated. So the light indicates what the button says. To the left of it, I have this parking monitor sensor this parking aid, whatever the heck this thing is. I think it turns the sensors on for the front so that when you're parking, you're not only getting the rear beeps, but also the front beeps. The problem is, I don't know if 
it's active or inactive when this light is on. And then every time you turn the car off and restart it, these things reset. So then you're left guessing again, what do I need to do to get it into the configuration I wanted? Uh, another such one like that is the blind spot monitoring light over here to the left to get everything where I want it. I have to go through and, and the lights do not all necessarily need to be on or off. It's just a little less than intuitive, we'll say. The sounds that this car makes are just phenomenal. I absolutely love the sounds, and I think a lot of it's due to the cold air intake. Um, I definitely hear the blow off, and it is fantastic. I know this car has a one of those dynamic sound uh, options that, that pipes sound into the cockpit. I don't know if that's whether it's over the speakers or if it's piped in. I don't think, uh, like on the Subaru, that it's piped in, I think it's actually over the, the speaker. But regardless, this car sounds fantastic, whether it's the turbo blow off and spool up, or whether it's the growl of the engine when you step on it, it's, it's absolutely a pleasure to listen to and drive. The car is pretty, uh, pretty heavy on the blind spots. Uh, it does have the indicators in the mirrors, but they're so out, so far out to your side that it would really be better if they had them in this little corner here to catch your attention. Um, being clear out there and little, I don't necessarily always get them. As for mileage, so far in Eco, um, been averaging over 26 miles per gallon. It's pretty impressive for a car with this much power. Um, certainly if I was in sport mode and driving in the city and getting on it a lot more, it would not be nearly to that level. I think with the cold air intakes in the Mishimoto intercooler combined, I'm probably putting down somewhere about 10 or 15 more than stock. Um, so I'm probably in the 380 range of horsepower. 120 miles, I think, since we left the house and everything's just uh, handling great and, and getting nice mileage. And I think it will continue to climb slightly all right, plugging along here. We've made it through uh, Indianapolis. Stopped for some good old healthy McDonald's to nourish the machine. And here we go, 25,999 miles. And now we're at 26,000 miles. So it's running great. Right, guys I figure this is probably a pretty good place to stop to conclude the first leg of this road trip uh, you might recognize this backdrop from the STI when we finished it up but uh, I've completed this leg of the journey the car did fantastic and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with uh, my weekend and get some tires on this thing tomorrow so we'll catch you later all right guys it is the next day and there were a whole lot of tornadoes across the Midwest yesterday. Um, Amazon warehouse, not far from where I live in Illinois, collapsed, and um, and we were under the same threats here in Ohio, but they didn't uh, come get us. Unfortunately, there was a lot of damage down south in Kentucky, so uh, thoughts and prayers go out to all those families. Hate to uh, see that level of destruction and. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a huge effort to clean all that up. Right now, we are on our way over to Discount Tire, so we can go ahead and get these uh, new sneaks on the front end of this car, and get that TPMS fixed, which is currently working. And it is freakishly windy here still this morning, so you'll probably hear that. crap guys it is a cold morning here in Ohio gotta go get a little bit of a start to the morning and then I'm gonna meet up with the boys and see what 
this finished product looks like with some smoke rolling off the rear tires. Okay, so here we are at uh, Pepsi in Mexico, and uh, we're just gonna try to get a little bit of something here to see what it'll do before we have to run from the Mexican police. Pour it. I'm going to hold down the traction mode, keep holding it. There we go. Now we'll be ready to launch. Hold it. Smoky in here. Look at the clouds, look at the sky. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Probably should dip after that. We probably should Boom. get out of here. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right guys, well it was a successful weekend in Mexico and getting new tires and road tripping the first half. We've just got the second half to go. Uh, back home and we'll put a wrap on this. Well, there you go, guys. The first trip in the Stinger, and it performed amazingly well. Made it to Ohio and back. Some rips uh, in Mexico, which has been the most fun video and the most fun I've had in a car to date. I hope you've enjoyed this Kia Stinger GTS build that we've been doing for the better part of this year. For now, that's it on the build. Phase one, we will go into phase two sometime in the future. Not only that, but that's gonna be a wrap for Fearless Mods for 2021. We hope you have a great Christmas, a happy new year, happy holidays to all of you. Thanks for watching Fearless Mods. We do have a lot more good content in store for you in 2022. So please keep on coming back, like and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.